Vita. Mistake number one was bringing Vita down. What is happening, you guys? My name is David Chambers. Thank you so much for watching the video. Now, I've got something to show you guys today. In the very last video that I uploaded, I showed you a wild hog that I had trapped in a trap, and I penned him up, and I tamed him, believe it or not. It's been about two months since then. It was Christmas Day, actually, whenever we trapped this pig. And I'm gonna show you every single detail of it today in this video. But before that, I wanna tell you guys about wild hogs. In the United States, and like the southeastern United States, especially and in Florida where we are, wild hogs, they're an extremely destructive species of animal. They're actually invasive. They were brought here by, I think like DeSoto or something, the 1600s, something crazy like that. And they get their giant, big, huge cone-shaped snout, and they put it down in the dirt, and they turn everything over like crazy. So it can be like, like somebody's crop, a golf course, backyards, front yards, whatever it is, state parks, all kinds of stuff. And they wind up causing millions of dollars in damage to the point where governments are like, you know, hey, if you see wild hogs and you trap them, please kill them and get rid of them because they're causing too much damage. Well, we, I mean, we trap them and we hunt them and we utilize their meat because they're amazing to eat. Their meat is like, there's like the best organic pork that you'll ever find. And most people, you know, they, they just kill them all whenever they trap them. Uh, we usually, like if we trap piglets and we'll let them go usually, um, but if we have a nice, big, fat, good looking to eat hog, then we'll keep it. So anyway, enough of that. Let's head down there, get this trap set. And afterwards, I'm gonna show you exactly what we had inside the trap. This, it was, I mean, just wait and see. <laughs> The pigs rooting in this pasture so much, they basically turn the little road that we usually drive down. They've like, you can't even tell where it's at anymore because they've just been rooting so, so much. So it's not only about getting a hog for Christmas, it's also about kind of, you know, putting some fear into these pigs so that they simmer down a little bit out of this pasture, which will work for about a month maybe, but you have to kind of stay on them otherwise they'll just, come, you know, they'll just be right back. That is a big old hog trail that goes from one feeder to the other. This is the trap right here. And how this works is once this, so this thing is lifted up, it's been a while. <laughs> it's got grass stuck in it. And then once they trip it, and I'll show you how it works, it drops down once they're inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it right now. So we got a big old bucket of a hog's favorite thing. Just some regular old dried yellow corn. So that stick, what that is for is to hold this, this door up because this thing weighs like 50 pounds. If it falls on me or anything else, it's not gonna be a good day. You wanna like not touch as much as you can in here because these hogs, they can smell you from forever away. So you wanna just kinda be careful on like what, what you touch whenever you're messing around in a trap like this. All that corn being right here, this bar, this is gonna pull that door open. And I have two little little sticks here that have notches cut in them to hold this bar down, right? A notch right there and a notch right there. It's like a little broomstick that I put in here like a couple years ago. That goes there, that goes there. And look at that. What's gonna happen is as soon as these hogs come rooting in here, they're gonna bump that thing and bam, that door's gonna shut. And I put the, the majority of the corn in the back. I'm also gonna put a pile right here And the reason for that is because I want as many hogs in here as possible whenever they trip that door. So what's gonna happen is if I just put it back there, that first hog is gonna run in here and it's gonna trip that. But if I put some up here, then it'll give you know a few hogs time to come in here and start eating before they trip it. So that's the goal here. But that's set, watch this. Now, as soon as a hog comes in here and just touches this thing, look. We got hogs for dinner, you guys. <laughs> now, if you see right here, this is their big trail going from all the way down there to here. So I want to like intercept them right in their trail. I'll throw some corn here. So as soon as that hog or those hogs are walking down here, they're gonna be going down, they're gonna get that, they're gonna stop and instantly follow it straight into the trap. And we're 
good. Now we wait, probably, I mean, possibly this afternoon, like right as it's getting dark, what I'm gonna do is drive down here with some binoculars so I can look into here without spooking anything and see if we have hogs because they do come out here throughout the day. So we might just trap them during the day, which would be perfect because I don't wanna have to tomorrow morning, it's Christmas morning, you know, clean a hog. We got presents to open and I don't wanna clean a hog. I don't have presents to open, who wants to do that? <laughs> so the goal is that that hog gets caught and clean tonight and We'll see you then whenever we check this trap. I'm right here checking the hog trap and I can see from right here that we are, actually, what do we got here? What do we got? Vita, that's not gonna work, girl. You gotta go home. Mistake number one was bringing Vita down. That's about as wild as it gets right there. Yeah, she doesn't have any milk left. She's a sow, that's her piglet. But those piglets are all weaned, so she'd be, so she's good. Normally, Vita, get out of here. Vita, go home, get. Hey, if you, Bringing Vita here was the first mistake. <coughs> Vita, you're gonna get your freaking face bit off. All right, guys. She's a mad hog, and uh, personally, I don't blame her. But so this is the plan. That this dog kennel here, this thing is reinforced. Like I've wired each corner together so that a hog, you know, on a piglet, because they're so super strong, so they cannot just ram the corner and squeeze their way through it. So the plan is, first thing I'm gonna do is put the big hog down. And uh, and then once that happens, I'm gonna get Piglet out of here. And believe it or not, within about two weeks, that, that wild hog Piglet will be, uh, he'll be totally tame, all right? But uh, right now, that just isn't the case. So I have to be careful with how I do this um, because if he has the option to escape, he'll be in those woods and down to the river in a minute or so. So. I gotta get the perfect shot on this hog so that she's down as quick as possible. And that's that. That pig has absolutely no idea what happened just now. She's stunned. Any movement is total nerves. And I love it. I mean, you know, I don't love shooting him either way, but when I have to do it, I like it when it's that quick, especially when there's a piglet in there because, you know, when they start freaking out and spazzing out, it really stresses whatever other pig is in there out. So at this point, I'm gonna get that piglet out of the trap. And once he's secure, I'm gonna grab the big pig. I'm gonna pull her out and pull her to the car and we'll be on our way to a good barbecue. Tell you what, there's not much more of a workout in the world that you'll find than pulling a 70, 80 pound hog up a swampy hill about 100 yards or so. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing is, I'm ready to go take a shower and take a nap. <laughs> so I'm gonna load her up, bring her home, take care of him in a little bit. See you guys at the house you guys how crazy was that man that pig both those pigs were mean they were ready to tear somebody up and if given the opportunity they definitely would have now i'm going to show you that piglet here very soon sorry i was just chasing the goat around i'm out of breath <laughs> um that piglet you'll be shocked at how different it is he's totally transformed and before that though i want to address something man when it comes to hunting when it comes to 
catching animals when it comes to things like that. I mean, I love animals. They are, and in my mind, you know, there are pets and there's not pets like Norton right here. Norton, he's a pet. Check him out. Kisses, kisses. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. See, Norton's a pet. That big hog, man, she was not a pet. That hog, and it was one of the meanest hogs I've ever come across. They're all usually mean, but she was pretty extra mean. And you know, I believe in wholeheartedly, if you're ever gonna hunt, harvest an animal, um, you know, do it as ethically as possible, you know? And I try to do that whenever I can, which is why I waited so long for that perfect shot to make sure that it had no idea what happened whenever that shot hit her. So anyway, that hog fed about 15 people. And the other one, let's go check him out. He is so cool. He has transformed like crazy. He's totally different. And let's go. You know, I think part of the reason that he's so tame right now is because instead of having like forest for whatever you can find in those woods, look. He gets a big, nice bucket of hog feed every day, one or two, usually two. Let's go. Every time that I scoop feed up, Vita, she knows that I'm like, okay, oh, it's pig time. It's harassed the pig's time. So she's always running straight over there. Some for you guys. Here you go, ducks. Check him out. There he is right here. Look at him. Look how, look at the difference here. Watch. Do you think that I could have pet him before? I'll tell you what, if I tried this when he was still in that, that trap over there, it would have been the end of the day for me, that's for sure. See, he isn't like, like a fuzzy pet little pig, but he's like, oh man, I get it now. You have feed for me, I'm in here, I'm gonna be nice to you. You know, he's, he's, he's a little weary still, but overall, man, it's like night and day what this pig is. Look, he's better than they are. How crazy is that? Those are domestic pot pigs. And he is more tame than them. He'll actually look, look, look like I can pet him. Those ones, look at them. Yeah, yeah, right. Him, he's like, whatever. <laughs> How crazy is that? Guys, we got happy animals, happy pigs, happy ducks, full bellies all around here. And you know, I wanna tell you guys, I had so much fun out there trapping those pigs, man. Just being out there, the entire experience, setting that trap, just the rush of kind of seeing what's inside and dealing with those pigs. It was super, it's just a super cool experience overall. But I want to say, hey, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to keep updating you on this wild hog and how, you know, just kind of how different he winds up being throughout the weeks here. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.